for the past, you know, X amount of years. I don't want to give dates. I don't really do that kind of stuff. But it's been a clear agenda from Disney and a few other companies like Warner Brothers, Ascender, et cetera, to um, erase white people from existence for some reason. Look, there's a lot of white people on Earth. You know, there's, it's, 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 it's no question. There's a lot of Indian people on Earth. There's a lot of Asian people, yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of people on Earth. There are different races. I think Disney, in the end, you know, without seeing a long video, I think Disney, in the end, got bored. And they got tired of catering, if you will, to white people. So they said, you know what, there? We got enough money. We're going to do whatever we want anyway. So let's not cater to them anymore. We can take the losses. So I think that's what's going on right now in the end. There's a lot of talented actors of all backgrounds, per se. And just thinking about that kind of stuff there, I really despise what happened with The Simpsons and the whole Apu thing. At the 25 fucking years, or whatever the fuck it is, the guy who been playing Apu all of a sudden can't because it's, it's a new woke culture. Because he's not Indian, he can't do the Indian voice anymore. It, 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 like it's the whole. I'm like, oh my, it's so, it's so stupid. Because what if a character's green? What if what if a character's purple? Well, you know what I'm saying. Like, uh, what, what do you do then? A robot and stuff like that. Oh, he's not a robot. He can't. He can't voice a robot character. Oh, sorry, Bender, you're canceled. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You don't have three eyes. Our character has three eyes. You gotta have three eyes to do this role. So anyway. So seeing vid undercover videos like this one really triggers me because we all knew that this is the case, if you will. If you're a talented actor, you're a talented actor. It doesn't matter who you are. Denzel Washington, Wesley Snipes, uh, Samuel Jackson, Morgan Freeman, Brad Pitt, Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise, et cetera, et cetera. You know, uh, uh, Tom, Tom, ha Tom Holland, Chris Hemsworth, you know, talented actors, you know. I need to tell Joy, um, uh, Amy DeMoss, yeah, like, talented actors, you know. If you're a talented actor, you're a talented actor. And the fact that you, these executives, like the one you see on screen right here, are actively not hiring because of someone's race that they can't do a goddamn thing about, is disgusting to me. You go out there and you make all this money for this billion-dollar company, and they tell you to not hire based on someone's race. Not the performance, not how good they are, just based on race alone. They can kill it in the audition, but because he was born a certain way, we can't hire them. Are you kidding me? You're actively hurting your company. But at this point, I, I guess this is like, you know what, fuck it. We, we can do whatever we want. And this goes into a very long line of secret racism that they've been, been having in Hollywood for a ton, like probably a, close to a close to a century now. Look, I understand that you have to cater to all demographics, but the fact that you want to only cater to a specific group of people, it's, it's ridiculous. The main thing when I think about, like, don't hire because of race or whatever, it's bullshit. It's absolute horseshit. And I'm not an executive. I don't get paid millions of dollars for my my critiques. But trust me, people in the industry have come to me that, are, that have had much more power than me for my opinion on things. I get them to them, and they use my ideas, and they didn't give me any credit for it. Well, they kind of did give me credit for it because, I, because they know what kind of stroke I have. Anyway... So, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to these businesses. The fact that this kind of, this kind of statement that he's saying right now about we can't hire white people, that's like, that's likely not from him. That's likely from a group of people, a board, if you will, above him, who decided in their quote unquote wisdom to go a certain direction. And you've heard that term for years. We're going a certain direction. And he's just doing what his job is. So it's not his fault. It's the group's... Someone... Maybe someone or some two in the group that probably like a like-minded in that board of like six, seven, eight people like that there at the top of Disney's brass decided to go a certain direction and he's just 
following orders. So in the end, I'm not blaming him. I'm blaming the, the company as a whole that they're going in a certain direction. So, like, if, if you look in the industry, like, uh, of talent, telling the people there, you look at people like uh, Tara Strong, who voiced a lot of characters, uh, uh, you know, from, from uh, you know, cartoons, like, for, for, for decades now. Uh, Troy something, I forget his name, Troy something. He's been doing voices uh, for decades as well. You know, The Last of Us guy, the guy who did The Last of Us voice. I'm not cutting or editing anything. So, they've been doing voices for a while now. And the fact that you want to cancel them because they don't look at the characters is absolute bullshit. You know, back in the day, they had a show called DuckTales. Oh, my character is not a duck. My, my, my voice actor is not a duck. You can't do that. Darkwing Duck, he's not an actual duck. Don't hire him. Donald Duck, nope, can't do it. He's not an actual duck. Mickey Mouse, not an actual mouse, can't do it. Goofy, not an actual dog, can't do the voice. Are you serious, my brother? The people from Santa Monica Studios fired the original God of War actor, Kratos, because he wasn't tall enough. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my. Oh, oh my fucking god. You guys are lucky you guys are on the internet there because it'll be worried about popping the fucking face, bro. Even though the, the new voice actor, Kratos, does a good job there, but the original one wasn't hired because he wasn't tall enough for the vault. The the, the, the mocap thing is easy is easily bullshit. You get someone else to do the physical traits of Kratos, and then you have the original voice actor do that do that role instead. Maybe they didn't want to double dip and play pay two people at once or something like that, but back on track to the this this thing here. It's disgusting to me that these executives think they can get away with this kind of stuff there because they've been on top for so long. And I'd like to know your opinions on this whole thing and the situation in the comments. Let me know what you think about this whole, you know, pro, uh, you know, this whitewashing thing, if you will, uh, of uh, their their character, well, the anti anti whitewashing thing, because to me it's just another reason why people shouldn't support Disney. If if you look at the, the what Latinos like, Latinos make up a good portion of the box office, box office, and every time you try to cater to them, they don't like it. They see they see right through it. So they like characters like, you know, Goku from Dragon Ball Z, they like Naruto, they like Inside Outs, uh, they like Up. Those are not Latino-focused, you know, media. It's catered to more, more or less Japanese people there, but it doesn't star any, like, particularly pro-Japanese things in their stuff. But Latinos love it. Stop catering to them. If you want to cater to them, do like a telenovela. Do that. They love that shit. I love that shit too. Anyway, so like, stop catering to them by putting their people in that stuff there. Make a good story that kind of relates to like the core of what they like, and then they'll 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 go to it. Make a star like a you know white person, black person, or whatever there, and have the core of it be relatable to them. Don't be like a chanclas thing or tortillas or you know, don't do that bullshit. Just do a strong story and. And everyone's going to like it. But I guess you don't know how to do that anymore. That's it for now. Back off.